are going to use linoleum flooring in the bathroom and a few other areas. Our main goal this weekend is to get a fully functioning bathroom. So we have to put down our linoleum floor, uh, put in all the electrical fixtures, and get the toilet and sink installed. For our bathrooms, we're using true linoleum, and we have Forbo Marmoleum. And we're going to go ahead and open it up tonight and let it relax and acclimate. And then tomorrow we'll put in our floors. vinyl, which is mostly a plastic product. Real linoleum is made out of natural materials, mostly linseed oil and wood flour, and it's got a jute backing. It is naturally anti-static, antimicrobial, it's easy for a homeowner to put in, and it lasts a really long time. It's also economical. If you buy it as a remnant, like we did, you can get it for about $1.99 a square foot. It does limit your color options, but we were able to get a color that we wanted. Another great thing about this product is that it's very green. It has a low embedded energy when it's created. It doesn't have plasticizers or phthalates or formaldehyde, so it's zero VOC. So it's really good if you're chemically sensitive. When we got our linoleum, which is made by Forbo, and the brand name is Marmoleum, we also got the special glue. And that is a green glue that is no VOC, so it will also be healthy in our house. To help with the natural curve at the end of the roll, you're supposed to curl it back on itself at 45 degrees to get that natural bend out of it, which is what Stacy is doing right now. So how was it cutting linoleum for the first time? It's pretty thick stuff. Um, the hook blades definitely make it a lot easier. Score it first with a regular blade and cut it with a hook blade. Now that we have our subfloor all ready, all we have to do is put down the glue and put on the linoleum. It's as easy as that. One special tool that you definitely want to rent is a 100 pound roller, which can be found at most rental places. It definitely makes sure you have good contact between the back of the linoleum and the glue. This was our first attempt at linoleum flooring. It is in our kitchen area where our refrigerator is going to go. And we decided to put linoleum under there in case it ever leaked. With our bathroom being so complicated with lots of angles and pipes, uh, we decided to make a paper template to trace onto our linoleum before we cut it. Uh, once we do that, we will bring in the linoleum before we put any adhesive down and just do a dry fit, uh, make any adjustments as necessary. And then once we're 100% positive that everything fits like we want it, we'll go ahead and put the adhesive down and glue it down. Are you having fun with your arts and crafts time today? Virginia only lets me have brown construction paper. Linoleum comes in sheets that are six feet seven inches wide. So you want to plan your project so that you get the most coverage with one piece. So in here, we just have one other little piece we have to cut. So we only have one seam in the bathroom. One of the things 
things I found online about linoleum was where you have a seam, you can make your own filler by sanding some of the linoleum and then mixing it with the glue. So this glue is a little greenish brown because I made a filler with it. And we used it on this seam over here, made it disappear. We finished installing the linoleum downstairs and overall I think it went really well. I think it's definitely a project that uh, a home builder can accomplish on their own. Uh, a few things is you definitely need a few special tools. Number one is a floor roller. This is a 100 pound floor roller. This we rented uh, from our local uh, tool rental store. I think it was about 20 bucks for the day, so definitely worth it. Uh, secondly is a hook blade on your utility knife. I used two utility knives. One had a regular blade for scoring, and then I used the hook blade for cutting. And I will say change your blades often. Uh, you'll, you'll feel when it starts to grab, but we went through several blades today, and we had a pretty small project. And then also you might need a special trowel. This is a 1 16th inch uh, tooth trowel. One big thing to do is anytime you have a complex shape like we did in our bathroom, I highly recommend doing a paper template. It's a lot easier to uh, maneuver and cut bits of paper in the bathroom, tape them all together, and then bring it out here and lay it on the linoleum uh, to get the proper shape. We're really happy with how the linoleum went today. It took us about four hours to get it down in four different places. Definitely in the bathroom and underneath the refrigerator. We also use some in our small broom closet and in the closet underneath the stairs. That way it's more durable and to save money on hardwoods. This is the scrap we have left over from that big sheet of linoleum we started with today. Next time we will finish the inside of our bathroom and install our finished light fixtures. Make sure you don't miss a video by subscribing and we will see you next time on the Tomarosa.